Hello, this is Adrian Osborne, voice coach from Denver, Colorado, back again for a, a vocal tip. I want to tell you guys something. I'm really tired. Really tired. I know it's summer and I'm kind of slacking off, but something has caught up with me and I am sleeping all the time. I'm sleeping nine hours a night or more and taking one or two naps a day. In fact, I, I went water skiing this morning and came right back and without even like rinsing off, I just like plopped right down on the bed and went back to sleep. So if I seem a little slow today, that is why. I wanted to talk about how to access your head voice because last week I was about to record a video about how to access your pure head voice, you know, like for women. Uh, C, uh, you know, high C, this is C5 and, and above, but I couldn't access my head voice myself. And I suspect it's because I have been pretty active lately in pretty intense ways. I started doing a parkour class, which is awesome fun, but it's pretty intense. The main thing I've been doing again is water skiing, and I used to be a competitive skier, and back then, oh my god, I had back problems. I It went as far as there was one one or two nights, I think, where when I woke up in the morning, I could not get out of bed because it was too painful to walk. It was too pain painful to move. It was too painful to stand. Over the years, I've had some serious tension in the back of my neck because of all the pulling against the boat that I've done. And in fact, I remember Western Regionals 2002, I think. I had so much pain that before I skied Western Regionals, the tournament, I slammed like three um, migraine headache pills because they were the only thing that would make the pain stop temporarily and had a friend massage really hard like super hard right into where it hurt the most and I went out and skied and then I came back in and and like got another massage it was insane how much pain I used to be in and how tight everything used to be now I'm not skiing at that level anymore <laughs> I've just taken it up again for fun after not competing for about it's been 11 years since I've competed now but I've taken it up again for fun and I've noticed over the last month or two that the combination of water skiing and not practicing my voice enough, my voice exercises, has really taken a toll on my head voice. And in fact, it felt like it completely disappeared above, above B uh, last week. So I couldn't do a video for you last week, but I have it back for you now. Um, I've been stretching a little bit. I've been really lazy the last few days, haven't done a damn thing in terms of exercise, seriously. I'm sleeping and <laughs> I think that's loosening things up. But also I started practicing again more regularly a few days ago and uh, that always fixes things pretty quickly. So anyway, I have kind of an unorthodox tip for you to access head voice. For women, I mean like C, five and higher. For men, I mean probably A, uh, five and higher, depending on what you're voice classification is, uh, might be as low as G flat and higher. But I'm talking about pure head voice, I'm not talking about really belting, I'm talking about accessing that voice. Now I did not always have access to that part of my voice, I always thought I was an alto, but I'm actually soprano, I just never learned how to access anything, anything higher. So the thing that first opened up my head voice, my pure head voice, was this strange little trick hang upside down. Now, I don't mean go out and buy like an anti-gravity thing where you like hook your ankles in or anything. I mean, just flip right over. I know you can't see me. Bend your knees a little bit if you're not very flexible and let your head hang off of your spine. The idea is that you want no muscles engaged around your neck to hold your head in place. So don't flip over and then hold your head up a little bit. Let it completely flop around. Yes, no, side to side. Make sure that you're completely just letting your head hang off of your spine. Okay, now I know it's a little strange, but it worked for me, so I'm gonna see if it works for you. So, you're down there, and I'd like you to try singing something like an E or an O. Maybe an O first, like now, you're not going to be able to drop your jaw very far, very far, I know, because you're hanging upside down and it's probably going to come against your chest. And of course, this is horrendous posture for singing, but that's not what this is about. This is about dealing with neck tension, preventing your high notes. So try singing an ooh, send your voice back. Or for guys, and see if that works. If that works, you can play with that a little bit, feel how it feels. Pay attention to where you're sending your voice and the shape that you have and where it's resonating. Then try and maybe an E. 
It's time to come a stand back up again and this may be on a different day but the next thing to try is rest your head in your hand like this so the weight of your head is going to be borne by only your arm and your hand like if you moved your hand away your head would just flop down that's how much I want you to put your weight in your hand so again this is not the final product this is not proper posture for singing this is not gonna do great things for a lot of the other elements of your voice, but it may help you find your head voice if its lack is due to tension. So then try here. And for the guys. And see if that's any different than it was when you were hanging upside down. Now, if that all still worked, then it's time to just actually try it for real without any assistance, no hands on your head, no hanging upside down. Just try or for the guys or for the girls even this time. Now hopefully you've figured out what tension you were carrying and you've figured out how to release it. And if you just have your head balanced on your spine, you shouldn't have any tension in your neck due to holding your head up. It's not, it's not that hard if your head is balanced, but if your head is forward on your spine, like this, or your posture is like that, then you do have some tension because you're, you're stopping your head from flopping forward in that case. If you are still having trouble with getting high notes, it doesn't mean that tension is not the issue. It, it's, it just it means it's unresolved. You could still be carrying tension in your neck or your shoulders that isn't releasing just because you hang upside down or just because you hold your head in your hands. So you might wanna try massage, you might want to, if acupuncture is something you're into, which is not for me, but um, works for my husband, or stretching, you pick it. It's worth checking into. Now, it may not be due to tension. There may be a number of other reasons that you can't hit high notes, and I will deal with those in other videos. But this is just one tip for this week. So um, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Subscribe. We will be putting out new vocal tips about every week. I'm going to go for every week. We're at the beginning of this whole process, but I think I have a lot to say. So subscribe and I'll keep feeding you unorthodox and orthodox free tips.